On July 28th, Cyber Ninjas, the group conducting the Arizona ballot audit, July 28th, they were supposed to turn over documents and reports to the Democratic controlled House Oversight and Reform Committee. It is now August 12th today. And they still, according to reports, have not turned over any of those reports. A little fishy, isn't it? You know, you're now two weeks past when you were supposed to turn all this over and you just haven't done it. That is, of course, according to congressional aides to the Democrats on this committee saying they haven't gotten anything from cyber ninjas. And of course, Congress is about to go on their little recess, which has been shortened. I think they only get two weeks now. Oh God. But they're still going to go on their recess and probably let cyber ninjas continue to do whatever the hell it is they're doing over there in Arizona, which actually they've moved a lot of it to a lab in the woods in Montana and uh, just not turn over these reports, these documents to Congress. Y'all got to do better. You can't just let this group not turn this over. If of course these reports are to be believed. And again, because it's coming from these congressional aides uh, to the people on the committee, we have no reason to doubt their recollection of the events here. Unless of course they're just lying to the press for fun. So, you know, either way, the point is Congress had shown a little bit of initiative here, trying to figure out just what the heck is really going on over there in Arizona, especially with this company doing a ballot audit, even though that's not what they've ever done before. They've already cost the state $3 million because they, uh, ruined, or it's suspected that they ruined the state's vote machines, actually vote counting machines by accidentally insta installing malware on them. So they've cost the state 3 million. They're not turning over reports based on what we know so far. And if I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me. You know, if you're at cyber ninjas and you say, well, no, hold up. We have gotten these reports. Great. Let us know that everybody's reporting right now that you haven't, that you blew past the deadline. But here's the thing. We need these reports. And so if cyber ninjas has turned them over, Congress needs to go, or at least the oversight and reform committee need to come out, do some kind of press conference and be like, okay, listen, here's what's happening. Here's what we know about this Arizona ballot audit. Maybe they found some things. Maybe they didn't either way. Tell us one way or the other. Right. And the fact that they haven't done that. And the fact that Congress is not refuting these reports lends more credence to cyber ninjas, not turning over this crap. The whole thing is a farce folks. We know it's a farce. I'm sure the folks at cyber ninjas probably understand at this point that it is a farce, but they're getting paid to do it. And they've been doing this since April. We're in the fifth month of this ballot audit and recent reports have indicated that the end may be in sight, but who knows at this point, we don't know what's going on. We don't know what they found. Although lack of press conferences from cyber ninjas indicates they found nothing. We don't know when it's going to end. We don't even have a full clear picture of who the hell is paying for this. We know that a bunch of mega donors from the Trump campaign have been uh, pouring money into this. There's far too many questions and sure as hell, not enough answers at this point. We need to know exactly what has happened every step of the way from the funding to the people doing the audit. And right now we have virtually nothing.